<laughs> right, we've got John here again with um, Dennis Toogood this time, who is still the president of the Bath Dolphin Swimming Club. And I have in my hand a centenary book of the Bath Dolphins. And in this very spot, uh, the Bath Dolphin Club was actually founded in 1899. Correct. Now, if I ask you guys to open the page, show the camera, this picture of yourself and John. Um, so we've got Dennis here on the right presenting an award, if Duncan it comes up Goodhue. a little bit, Your presenting friend. an award to Duncan Goodhue, From yes, with John, with John Dagger there. Now tell us a little bit more about that picture. The event was to recognise Duncan Goodhue's achievements in the appropriate event which is described down there. It was a... His, the Moscow Olympics. Moscow right, okay. What medal. year was that then? No, you are challenging me. <laughs> no, all right. Well, we can find yeah, that out. Jump the date for a moment. Okay. At the time, I was the Somerset County President. Okay. That's the date I can tell you. Right. With a handbook in my hand. Right. And John was the Bath Dolphin Lifeguard, life saving representative reporting to our management committee at that time. Yeah. At the time when he was also the Bath superintendent, would that have been yeah, your title? That's right. That's so this was actually Bath. taken at the... This was um, at the new Bath Sports Centre. The, the Leisure Centre, no, right, the, OK. The new Leisure Centre. So the, the actual presentation was made within the life of the new Leisure Centre. Was that by 1950? 1975. 70, 75. Yeah. Right, um, OK. And that would have been one of the, the first events. Mm. Mm. Right, lovely, there lovely. Is, course, have you seen Duncan Goodhue since? Yes. Either of you? I, yes. I, I was in, in the Houses of Parliament with, at a luncheon with him. Oh, were you? Excuse the year, me. The, the year I was ASA president. Right, OK. I, I, I went there by invitation to one of his swim... What's he get up to, Duncan? Oh, it's the swimathon. Swimathon type thing. And we had a luncheon with representatives from all over the country. Right. And as I say, I was there because at the time I was ASA president. Right. And we had all the best silverware okay. out for luncheon. So how long have you actually been associated with the Bath Dolphins? Since I was then? 10. Right, and the same with you, John. About oh, yes, ever age. since... Well, yeah, well, no, I wasn't 10. When I came out of the Navy, uh, I was 18, 19, sorry, and I came, <coughs> and that was in 1957. Yeah. And, and then I, I started to do all my life-saving awards and became a president of the Royal Life Saving Society South West. And that was when I was appointed as the representative for the Bath Dolphins. Right. As uh, and what sort of ratio was there, boys to girls, back then when you first joined? Well, when I first joined in the Dolphins, it was, it was all men. Oh, there, was no, there were no ladies Until there. Until about 1963. 1963. We, we had an extraordinary yeah. general meeting to agree to take in the, the female um, strain because they, with the introduction of age group swimming and more inter-club galas involving men and women or boys and girls mm. it became essential for us to to be able to send a proper team to an event say in bristol mm. or gloucester or taunton and so forth we needed to have both sexes in as club members mm. right right but dolly harrison i believe was then yep. president of the lady lady dolphins, dolphins correct yes right. and dorothy uh, harrison so yeah. how harrison. big was the club then how many members uh, roughly back then, then? Well, bath dolphin in bow street days uh, certainly more than we have nowadays because we used to squeeze them in bow street like sardines yeah, that's right anything up to 500 members in a year Gosh. Whereas nowadays yeah. we average 300. Right. Mm. Well, in our lovely founding, well, it's not a founding photo, it was founded in 1899, but we've got a photograph taken of the Bath Dolphins um, on the river here, 1910, uh, yeah. from the other side of the river looking across, and mm. there's 36 young men in this photograph, so it must have been quite a special occasion. And from what I can believe, yes, Dennis has got it. He's got, well, other pictures, yes. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, show that one. That, we, that's the women. So this is. We're, on but the spot we almost we're standing. The very, very slab we're on, the tin shed, as I've always called it, was shared by Bath YMCA, YMCA. and Bath Dolphin Swimming Club. Right. Yes. Um, mm. But Bath YMC folded some few few years later, right. whereas we've continued for over 100 years. And Bath Dolphin Women's Section, that folded probably at least 20 years ago with the opening of Bath Sports Centre. They just couldn't man it. Mm. They, they couldn't sort of get enough volunteer support mm. to move the women's section as an independent unit. So that folded, and I was effectively the trustee of the closure of that. All their trophies went equally between Western Counties and Somerset County, and any funds that were left were shared between the um, disabled groups. It,
within the county, Cainsham, Midsummer Norton and wherever else.